one of my biggest fears growing up was what kind of father would I be one day? Because I didn't have my father in my life, so how could I be a father if I never had a template? My name is Stacy Grau. I am the Associate Dean at the John B. Roach Honors College at Texas Christian University. Part of what I want to do as an informed donor is really to understand not only what the organizations are doing, but what are the problems that they're trying to solve and who they're trying to solve it for. We ultimately decided to partner with NTCF because I think that the organization does a really nice job of sort of laying out some of the major issues that we have in Tarrant County and then in an easy way sort of vets some of the organizations that are doing work in this space. My name is Darian Hatley. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm currently a mentor of Hope Forum, and that's what we do. We kind of mentor and guide these boys into a better direction so they can realize that they don't have to be a product of their environment. I remember walking in, meeting the boys, and just being so impressed by resilience and their tenacity and their curiosity and their enthusiasm, and just really needed to understand, okay, what is going on here? My mom, at a young age, she wanted me and my brother to have some type of male guidance in our life. So throughout the program, they taught me how to be a man. I owe wherever I'm at right now to them, and I feel like Hope One, what we have going on here, is something special. It's something that can change the life for each of these boys individually and for their families in the future, because we want to rebuild broken homes. That's really the goal. We're all in it together to a certain extent. A lot of times these kids are forgotten. The research will show you these are the kids that might get in trouble at school. Hope Farm, I think, really stepped in to really help and to serve a huge void in their lives. And so I think for our donors, you really need to understand what are the big issues? And then I think trying to find something that really speaks to your heart. You're impacting the next generation of boys, next generation of fathers. Seeing these kids and, you know, helping them throughout the problems that they're having in their life, it's kind of full circle because some of the insecurities, some of the fears that they face right now, it's, it just looks familiar. So basically it's like, I'm them, they're me, essentially. So this is why I'm here forever.